He is a supporter of the arts. I mean, he's a really, he's a really cool guy. He is a brilliant, brilliant doctor. Mr. Tang is iconic. Mr. Tang is an icon, and whoever doesn't think so is dreaming. Riley? Here. Kevin? Here. Jennifer? Here. Hunter? Here. And Emmanuel? Here. And Amara? Here. Julia? Here. Juliana? Here. Christina? Yes. So, um, I've had Mr. Tang for two years in a row now, and at the beginning of every uh, school year, he will talk about um, his Mickey Mouse water cell. In chemistry, students don't know what kind of things is water, then I just make a Mickey Mouse for my students. So on the board, he will draw a water cell in the shape of Mickey Mouse. One oxygen is the face, two years are uh, hydrogen. And he is very proud of that because he says that's how he connects with his students, by connecting science with something that children like. So in that situation, kids love that. Oh yes! Physics? Yes. Yeah, I like, um, uh, specifically, I like um, Newton's second law. Acceleration equals force divided by mass. He is very fascinated with physics and science in general, and he wants to instill that in his students. So when he's talking about physics and teaching and um, doing his lesson plans, when just, you know, a fact comes up that he wants us to remember and he doesn't think that, like, we really understand how great this fact is. Um, he tells us, believe it or not. 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 And, you know, it really hits home. It really gets me, gets me and gets in my brain every time he says that. Oh, yes. I try to use models. When my students are working actively and uh, you know doing asking questions, working on their labs, when I, whenever I saw they are working actively, you know, in, with um, uh, work with an in, uh, interesting attitude, then I'm going to be very happy. I always talk to my students, go toward your beautiful dream or let the journey begin today.